way. Oh, Paimon sees the cart, but what are these hilly trills doing here? Do they want some fresh fruit now, too? To the rescue! Let's see what we have here. Huh, really? Oh, let me check. Do I have him? Yeah, I have him here. So, maybe I should actually equip this to Razor. I'm fine, thanks to you. You were just in time. Any later and all you found here is a pile of pulp. And I don't think there'd be much left of the fruit either. Got it. Well, thanks again. I'd better not delay this delivery any longer. So, goodbye and happy Vine Lace Fest. Thanks to you too, kiddo. Enemy following. Enemy? <laughs> I think we're a little closer than that. Our enemies? Oh my god, imagine Sahi and me as Razor. And if you don't know, you don't know. Oh wait, this is Rosaya. On some level, you could even say that we're brother and sister. Say what? What the uh, melodrama in uh, plot twitch is this? Artist, do your job. I want to see comics uh, with these two now as brother and sisters. Actually, turning up at random places is pretty normal for you. Okay, next question. What the heck do you mean, brother and sister? Varka taught you how to use that sword, I take it. Swift, but powerful. <laughs> I can spot that old-timer style anywhere. Uh, huh? I see you're not much of a talker. Well, there's something else you could learn from Varka. Never lost for words, even when he has nothing to say. It'd be good conversation practice for you. Just a shame we have no idea when he'll be back. It's okay. I will wait. I don't know why, but I'm kind of curious how Varka like. Although, consider the game of Star Trek old, we hear a thing, but then the opposite happens. The... Proof of that is Ito. Brother and sister? Varka? Oh, Paimon gets it. Varka is a father figure to both of them, so that makes them family. Just not by blood. I don't know why, but I really want to see comics with Rosaya. Razor now. 
So Valka is the father figures, Lisa is the mother figures, and Rosé is the big sister figure. Man, I, I love this combo. And actually I have uh, Rosé, Razor and Lisa, and Valka I think maybe he's gonna be playable, so either, yeah, imagine that too. Well, blood relations are overrated anyway, don't you think? I get it. In the final moments of your life, the people there with you won't necessarily be your blood relatives. Cold, dark grown-up. You also don't remember what your real mother and real father look like? So you're helping him dig up some info on his biological parents and trying to help him build a concept of family along the way. All right, you got me. I barely have any memories of my birth parents. The last time I saw them was long before I had any understanding of the world around me. But that seems pretty common. Even in this day and age, there are plenty of people in the world who can't stop thinking about their families, but will never get to see them. Anyway, if you're never gonna meet someone, it's not worth spending mental energy on them. It's more important to focus on the kind of person you want to become. No, you are wrong about this. Lupico protect each other. Human family also important. Must care about them. Fine. So let's say you do find out who your parents were and they were saints. Or the opposite, they were complete monsters. What then? How would that affect your life choices? What would you do about it? Um... Whew, Rosaria's take is a little on the nose. That's a hard one for Razor to answer. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to make this any more difficult than it already is. But Razor's feeling lost and confused right now. And all the other Mondstatters we know are too sunny and bright to tell it like it really is. The sun nurtures many good things, but it can't do anything about the problems lurking in the shadows. Wow, Rosaria. All right, I'll leave it there. <laughs> Take this flower. It's icy cold, just like me. <laughs> Wait, so this is gonna be like the ingredients we're gonna gather with for that wine? I wonder what's gonna be Lisa's flowers. I guess Cecilia's or the Electro one. Wait, are there Electro flowers around? I cannot think now. Barbara's busy preparing the sung poetry event for the Vine Lisa Fest. She couldn't get away, so I picked an ingredient out on behalf of the church. But can we really use a mist flower? Won't it freeze the entire barrel? No, not now that I've dealt with it. The bard did say to think freedom, didn't he? So go on, take it. It won't be a problem. Ah, Rosaria! You're more thoughtful than Paimon realized! <laughs> uh, wait! You heard the bard say that? Were you spying on us? Of course. Who's not spying on us? Don't mention it. It's nothing. Varka's been a big help to me in the past, so just consider it returning a favor. Besides, if I'm your older sister, I might as well act like it. I want to see comics for this, are you understand me? Man, I now wish I could take screenshots of this because I kind of forget when I have to post this. 
Good luck finding your answers. Now you see her, now you don't. Paimon's slowly getting used to her style. Oh, oh well, as love tender and true goes, that was... pretty awkward, but still counts, right? Now that's left is the Knights of Avonius. <sighs> Razor, are you still thinking about what Rosaria said? Her words are like mist flower. They are cold, and they sting. But cold also good for wounds, like wolf hook. I need to think about it. Maybe then I will understand. Okay. I will come with you. I think while we walk. So you see, you're the best person for this. What are they all two talking? And why are you here? Oh, just in time. Lisa and I were just talking about Razor's situation. Where were we? Ah, yes. The barrel. Huh? But uh, obviously the nuts part is supposed to be a defender's will. But what kind of ingredient is a barrel? Is your brain half asleep or something? It doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> oh, Paimon, don't worry. You'll get your ingredient. I've already tasked someone with sorting it out. The person is very conscientious and wants to properly research their contribution, so it may take some time, but hopefully it'll be worth the wait. As for the barrel, how else were you planning on mixing all the ingredients? Surely not in the giant cooking pot at Dada Upa Gorge. After much deliberation, I realized this was a job for the most sociable and savviest member in our ranks, the Cavalry Captain. So I asked him to take a trip to the Dawn Winery and somehow bring back a wine barrel. You sent Kaya to the Lux Mansion. This is gonna be fun. Uh, all right, spare me the flattery, Lisa. We're all friends here, and I know you're only trying to help your student. But I haven't been back there in a long time. This could be quite difficult to accomplish in just a single trip. Difficult? For you? Don't be silly. Negotiating is your biggest strength. Fine Lisa Fest is one of the most important festivals in Mondstadt, and you know how Diluc thinks better than anyone. Just drop a few little hints, like how this is the first festival Mondstadt has had in a long time. We're short on much-needed supplies for a multitude of reasons. Oh, who can help us? When he hears that, I guarantee you he'll offer to help out with finances and sourcing goods. Lisa's literally trying to extort Master D. Luke. Hmm. I suppose. All right. I'll head out right away. Well, he didn't take much persuading. <sighs> and Paimon was just about to thank Lisa for the things she's been doing for Razor behind the scenes. Oh, Paimon doesn't even know whose side to be on anymore. Mm. Traveler and teacher did a lot for me. A lot of work. But me, I still can't answer questions. So useless. Dear me, what's gotten you so upset, my little wolf cub? We can't have you being so down in the dumps. My little wolf cub. 
I get I really like this though. Ah, I see. Hmm, cutie. How about you keep Kaya company while I stay here and help Razor process his feelings? As his teacher, I owe him some tutelage anyway. Come and collect him in a few days' time. The last ingredient should be ready by then as well. Splendid. I was just thinking about how nice it would be to have some company on my trip. I don't know what is right, but I trust teacher. I accept. You are a goddess, not a goddess. Oh, or aren't you a sweet one? But this is as much my business as yours. It's my pleasure, really. Run along now, and don't forget to tell D. Luke that the Knights of Favonia send our regards. My heart feels like rotten berries, so sour. I don't understand what I should do. Oh, all right. I'll teach you a very special magic trick that can make all your troubles disappear in the blink of an eye. But before we do that, let's warm up with something a little bit easier, hmm? Let's practice some talking. That way, the next time somebody helps you, or you have a different opinion from the rest of the group, you'll be able to express what you think clearly and precisely. Okay. I will do my best. Kaya, you're fond of a good drink, aren't you? By Lacefest must be right up your alley. Uh, Kaya? Oh, I'm sorry. My mind was elsewhere. What was your question? Ugh. Never mind. Nothing that important. I was just wondering who'd be coming all the way out here during the Vine Laser Fest. So, it's you two. <sighs> and you, too. Brr, so cold. Almost enough to make me feel unwelcome here, Master D. Luke. Don't forget that this is my home, too. I'm fairly certain that taking a trip home during festival season is a universal custom, common to all the cultures of Tevat. Really? Are you sure you actually want to be here with Hadilok? You two will burn this place to crisps if you were to actually stay here. Please get to the point. The point is one that you've already raised yourself. The Vinelesa Fest. To celebrate this long-awaited festival, the Acting Grand Master has been coordinating with both the Church and the Adventurers Guild to host a series of events. Unfortunately, given the financial situation of the Knights of Favonius, well, I'm sure you can imagine. And the Knights of Favonius's woes have what exactly to do with me? Hey, no need to be so cruel. Even I'm not going to take that. Everyone's just doing the best they can for Mondstadt. Now, I can't remember the last time I tasted Don Winery's Vinelesa Fest special. And I'm sure the Mondstadt populace would echo this sentiment. Are you going to deny others the opportunity to drink to their heart's content just because you don't like to drink yourself? 
Check it out. Kai is not so subtly asking for freebies. He's actually doing it. Anyway, speaking of the knights, everyone dearly hopes that you'll rejoin our ranks again one day. Then we'll be one big happy family again. If we were able to enjoy the sterling reputation of Master Diluc, my, I'm sure people would be queuing for our charity booth all the way to Falcon Coast. <sighs> Give that silver tongue of yours a rest. You might need it to maintain public order at the festival. Duly noted on the financial issues you raised. I'll have Elzer follow up with Hertha in more detail. And I just so happen to have a batch of wine that I can offer as a token of appreciation to everyone that has been working so hard for the festival. Shall I address it to you personally? That would be an absurd request, even for me. The words, with compliments from the Dawn Winery, ought never be preceded by, to the cavalry captain. Is that not the unwritten rule? You're better informed than I thought. In that case, I will leave this with Adeline and keep everything anonymous. I really can't thank you enough. Master Diluc is so generous. That's all Paimon needs to get that warm, fuzzy feeling. Uh, which is just as well, since you won't be allowed to drink a drop. Paimon, this could have gone two ways. This is the good one. Huh. Are you two here regarding the Vine Laser Fest too? Poor Razor. He grew up so fast, and he's still looking for his father. Master Diluc, we really ought to lend him a hand. How come Klee said he's looking for his mom, but Kaya says he's looking for his dad? It might make more sense to them, but it's gonna get confusing for everyone else. Okay, I want to kind of say that uh, Kaya mentions dad and Klee's mother, like... Razor is looking for both of them. It's okay. I understand. We have a spare barrel in the winery. It's a little old, but it's been specially treated for durability. You could leave it next to a flaming flower all day and there wouldn't be a scratch. I think that one should satisfy your needs. Sounds great! We'll take it! When can we come fetch it? No need. I'll have someone deliver it to the festival market. Just collect it from the Angel's Share stand. Aww, you always make things so nice and easy for us, Master D. Luke. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Razor will really appreciate it. And the show? Isn't that the... Uh... No, wait. I don't know why, but I keep confusing Angel's Share with the... Uh... What is uh, the owner place called? Cart Tales or something? You're more than welcome. Helping each other is what friends do. Wonderful. Always eager to help, and never forgets to return a favor. That's the Master D. Luke I know. Oh, it's nearly dinner time. Uh, would you care to stay for a meal? How time flies. I'll be on my way then. <laughs> How did you put it? Ah, oh, yes. Taking a trip home during festival season is a universal custom, common to all the cultures of Tevat. Now that even Master Diluc has made an offer, are you quite sure you won't stay for a meal after coming all this way, Master Kaya? I couldn't possibly, Adeland. I wouldn't want to trouble you. Oh, don't say that. How often do I get a chance to indulge my dear Master Kaya, hmm? Tea for the cavalry captain when you visit in an official capacity doesn't count. I only get to spoil you if you let me cook for you. She was kind of their babysitters, if I can recall, right? Although the comics may be give the own pension. Oh, ah. Uh, hmm. Well then, what happened to your swagger? Lost for words? <laughs> Diluc, you... Surely you wouldn't dream of disappointing Adeland. All right, then. I'll take you up on the offer. 
Adeline, one more set of cutlery, please, if you'd be so kind. Ooh, Paimon's so full. Adeline's cooking is amazing. Everything looked and tasted so beautiful. Hey, you cannot uh, do a uh, cheesy cutting. After that, uh, don't uh, add uh, CG, nothing. Again, this game kind of has an issue like using one feature once and never reuse it again until way, way later. Glad you liked it. You're welcome to join again anytime. Oh? Then I may have to tag along on the Traveler's Adventures more often in the future. Ugh, Kai is back to his usual ways. All right, now that our task is complete and our bellies are full, it's time for me to get back to work. Take care, Master Kaya. Have a safe trip back. We should get going as well. Lisa's taking care of Razor, but the Vineries of Fest can't do without us. See you next time, Master D. Luke. Indeed. Goodbye. Family, huh? <sighs> Don't mind me. You should probably head back and get some rest. I'm not the most familiar with Razor, but you can contact me if you ever need help. It's been a long time since I saw Masters D. Luke and Kaya sharing a meal together. The atmosphere was... Ahem... <clears throat> was not something that a maid of my lowly stature should be commenting on. Thank you so much for visiting. I hope to see you again soon. <laughs>